The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. Good day. Broadcast for today. Degree number 102 of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia on the formation of the Medal of the Council of Art, Culture and Heritage. The defense of Western Armenia, a new incentive for the determination of the people of Artsakh, Mahir Hayatunyan. A documentary film entitled Refugees of Artsakh, Exile and Survival. The policy of increasing virtual masks in occupied Artsakh. Ani, the capital of Western Armenia, occupied by Turkey, is not mentioned in the Armenian history of the city. Iran's Red Line. The 12th liturgy was held in the Armenian Holy Cross Church of Ahtamar Island. The delegation of Western Armenia also participated. Decree number 102 of the President of the Republic of Western Armenia on the formation of the Medal of the Council of Art, Culture and Heritage. The President of the Republic. Considering Article 77 of their Constitution, considering Article 82 of the Constitution, orders Article 1, formation of the Council of the Medal of Art, Culture and Heritage. This Council is established to reward those persons who have been devoted by their work in the fields of art, culture, literature or heritage, or who have contributed to the development and dissemination of art, culture, literature and heritage in Western Armenia or throughout the world. Article 2. The badge of honor will be a medal dedicated to the memory of Komitas Vartapet, Sohomon Sohomonyan. Each award is under the minister's decision and will be published in the official record book of the Republic of Western Armenia. Article 3. The order will be published in the official record book of the Republic of Western Armenia and will enter into force on the day following its publication. In a conversation with Western Armenian TV, Mahir Hayatunan, docent of the University of Technology of Shushil, head of Gajar Scientific Center historian, noted that the people of Artsakh feel stronger and protected because they have the support of the government of Western Armenia. According to him, this trust is strengthened especially by the legal steps taken by the president of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armen Akabrahamian. He appealed to the European Court of Human Rights in order to protect the rights of the people of Artsakh, which inspires hope for the people of Artsakh, opening bright ways for the future. This initiative inspires the people of Artsakh to be determined and continue their struggle to return to Artsakh. Hayatunyan emphasizes that such steps are very important because they not only provide legal force but also provide moral support for the people of Artsakh to realize their inevitable dream of return. I think that it is necessary to regularly organize meetings with the people of Artsakh to discuss the opinions of intellectuals regarding the return of Artsakh and to take joint steps, added the historian. Such initiatives are not only of strategic importance but also of deep symbolic value, strengthening the fate of the people of Artsakh in their own future. One year later, refugees tell. At the end of September in 2023, after more than nine months of siege, 120,000 residents of Artsakh were forced to leave their centuries-old land in two days under the pressure of Baku. They left their homes, jobs, thousand-year-old places of worship and cemeteries. They fled, leaving everything behind. They found refugee in Eastern Armenia, where a great wave of national solidarity rose upon their arrival. A year later, the Project Eastern Christians meets with them. We saw people who are still deeply wounded and who are in a difficult psychological state and have great difficulty in how to create their future. Their goal is to return to their native lands one day, but how do they recover, how do they imagine a new life? France to TV channel will show refugees of Artsakh on Sunday, September 15 at half past nine at Paris time and half past 11 at Yerevan time. The documentary film entitled Exile and Survival is written by Thomas Value and Guillermo Juherian and directed by Guillermo Juherian. Observation of satellite maps shows us that the Azerbaijan site has started to artificially increase the number of masks in Artsakh. In particular, during the observation of the villages of Hadrut region for the Google Earth service, it became noticeable that the logo about the presence of masks was added to Dagaser, Vartashat, Kamara, Gunch, Sarinshen, Zamzor, Toh settlements. Moreover, the signs of the presence of masks in these villages are placed arbitrarily. Because if you zoom in on the images, you can see that they are placed directly on the village houses and yards. 
During their observation of satellite photos, it became clear that a marker about the existence of a mosque was also placed in the city of Askeran. According to the map, it is located near the cemetery of the city. We can state that the Azerbaijan site continues the policy of Islamization of Artsakh. Also in the virtual domain, mosque signs are artificially placed on publicity accessible websites that display satellite Im imagery. It is not forfeit that the Hadrut region was chosen as a target, most of whose villages for Armenian had an Armenian population and there were never Islamite prayer houses in them. It is noticeable that the villages closest to the city of Hadrut were endowed with mosques. The ruins of Midaevalani capital are today one of the most visited attractions in Turkey where every day you can see hundreds of local and foreign tourists who visit one of the most famous Armenian cities of the time and get to know the cultural monuments that have been more or less preserved and reached us. Among the tourists are also a large number of Armenians who can be met in the territory of Ani almost every day. The attention of Armenians is immediately attracted especially by the signs presenting the history and date of construction of the city and the monuments which hardly mention the Armenians of the city and the fact that it was built by the Armenian kingdom. For example, the sign board placed right next to the entrance walls of the city presents the entire chronology of history of the medieval city, starting from ancient times before the Kamsalakans, Bagratunis, etc. The history of founding of the city by the Bagratunis is presented in the details in plaques, but the nationality and origin of the representatives of this royal house is not mentioned. In the chronology of the city, it is even mentioned that for some time Ani fell under the rule of Georgian kingdom, but there is no word about the Armenian kingdom. The same picture prevails in the case of the information on the signs representing the monument, the date of construction, the king or prince who built it is indicated, but nothing is said about their Armenian origin. More or less, the Cathedral of Ani is properly represented in this respect. By the way, the entrance fee to the city cost Turkish lira equivalent to $8. After the election of the new president of the Islamic Republic of Iran, the interrelations of the state regarding Armenian-Iranian relations have not changed. Iranian authorities will continue to maintain the territorial integrity of Eastern Armenia and reject the idea of the Zangezur Corridor, which violates Armenia's sovereignty. The ambassador of Iran in Eastern Armenia reaffirmed this attitude, especially when the discussions refer to the road connecting Baku to Nahichevan through the Sunik region. It is important for Iran that the border changes don't interfere with its strategic interests, and Iran is against the involvement of foreign forces in the management of the corridors. Armenian Patriarch of Istanbul, Archbishop Sahak Mashalyan, performed the liturgy in the Armenian Holy Cross Church on Ahtamar Island of Lake Vanna. Before the ceremony, he went to Van, where he met with governors. Armenians came not only from Constantinople, but also from Eastern Armenia, USA and Germany to participate in the liturgy. Representatives of Western Armenia were also present at the liturgy. The attendees describe, the impression was indescribable. Those moments will always remain in our hearts. But returning was the most difficult as if we had left our child on the island. The child was our church, which we left again in the lands of the enemy and left. Dear viewers, this was all for today. I wish you a good day. Goodbye.